Have you ever wondered what it would be like if Spider-Man was dead? Danny Phantom is a show about a young superhero named Danny Fenton who really needs a better alias. He has the power to transform into his edgy Smash Bros. palette swap at any time. He can walk through walls, disappear, and fly. He's much more unique than the other guy. Danny's parents are infamous ghost hunters who accidentally turn their own son into a ghost, which is usually considered a crime. Danny has to catch all the ghosts while his parents try to turn him ghost from a half ghost to a whole ghost, but he can't tell them he's a ghost because then they'll attack him. Wait. Luckily, his cool sister Jazz finds out about Spookum Magookums and starts helping him out halfway through season one. Whoa, wait, what? That's right, Danny Phantom has changing status quo and plot progression before the season one finale. That's completely unheard of. Nice to see a cartoon changing the industry in this contemporary year of 2004. Also helping Danny are his friends Sucker and Tam. Sucker likes machines and meat, and Tam is a goth who hangs out with Danny and Sucker for reasons that are still unclear to me. Danny and Tam secretly have feelings for one another because they're protagonists. Hey, it's a good thing they don't have chemistry class together or they'd be failing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Up top. All right. With puberty at his back and friends at his side, Danny learns that fighting ghosts is hard, but growing up just might be a little harder. Ah, coming soon to the CW. Speaking of soap operas, meet Danny's nemesis, Vlad Masters, a villain so over the top that everyone just thinks he's kidding when he twirls his mustache and tries to hit on Danny's mom from his cheese castle. Contrast with Valerie, a kick-ass anti-hero with sympathetic motivations and a really interesting dynamic with Danny, who ends up being a better antagonist than Vlad and a much better love interest than Tam. Oops, it just goes to show that the ones who love Danny the most are those that keep trying to kill him. Marvel at the comic book styled rogues gallery, filled with interesting motivations and personality that eventually just trickles down to a game of how many times can Skulker show up this week by the end of season two. Whenever he fights Ghost, Danny never forgets his signature catchphrase. <sighs> I guess I'll die. Rebreather! Ah, Ghost Boy, you're just in time for me to ruin Jack and Mary Fenton's anniversary cruise. And once their relationship has been scuttled, they'll get a divorce! Change of plans. It's time for some cruise control. Fool! You've fallen for my trap hook, lion, and sinker! Now, prepare to sleep with the bitches! Sorry, must have forgotten my waterproof pajamas. I'll have to pass. Huh! I might be a diver, but when I'm done with you, you'll be a diver! <laughs> clear where the ghosts come from because sometimes they're actual dead people with documented existences and other times they're just ghost tornadoes. Season 1 sets the bar with its constantly changing status quo and great episodic villains, then watches season 2 straddles the bar and cringes season 3 bangs its nuts on it before falling off entirely. Enjoy the interactions of the genuinely charming and interesting Fenton family, but only after every three episodes of Sucker and Pam had a fight because she's a vegetarian and doesn't meet his expectations. Coming soon, CW. Danny Phantom is a charming cartoon that combines the fun of comic book superheroes with surprisingly well-written depictions of life as a teenager, even if the rushed ending left us missing a panel or two. But hey, at least the show will live on in the disproportionate ratio of an incredibly bizarre and sexual fan art. Fan art? Thank you all for watching, and a huge thank you to Butch Hartman for letting me make fun of his show, and for designing and voicing Rebreather. If you want to see more of his work, then you should check out his YouTube channel or the Noog Network app. It has cartoons, shows, and games all made by Butch, and it's available in the App Store. If you'd like to support the show and get cool extras and outtakes, please consider becoming our patron on Patreon. All our patrons get to vote on what So This Is Basically video we make next, and all proceeds go to hiring more animators so we can make more videos even faster. Thanks!